Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to BJC Halacha Day, number 1269, Halacha Day keeps the eights are away. We're continuing with the laws of interest, long chapter here. It is permitted to increase the dowries of bridegrooms. For example, if one set aside a dowry for his daughter and agreed with his son-in-law that for every year he leaves the dowry with him, he would give him so much profit, this is permitted for this is considered only as an increase in the dowry. It is as if he had said to him, I will give you a gift of so much at a certain time, and if I fail to give it to you by that time, I will add to it so much and so much, which is permitted. This applies only where they agreed to this immediately at the writing of the Tanayim. What's the Tanayim? Those are the conditions, the agreements reached between the bride and the groom's family before the marriage. Since until that time there was no obligation on him, i.e. the father-in-law, it is all considered one obligation, says footnote 45. All the increases in the dowry are to be considered the original obligation of the father-in-law. However, if at the writing of the Tanayim, he obligated himself unconditionally to a set dowry, and at the time of the wedding, they want to arrange to give the groom something in return for extending the time of payment, this is prohibited. This should be done in a permissible manner, and that was your halacha. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Love. 36100 for the gold. See you tomorrow.